Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable, upload, edit and process prior payroll in your Zoho payroll account. Before we get started, let's talk about prior payroll. Prior payroll is the process of uploading previously processed payroll data to the system to achieve and calculate the year-to-date values for net earnings and tax deductions at the source. If you are processing the payroll in the middle of a financial year, prior payroll can help you avoid tedious miscalculations for employees by capturing all previous payroll data from the beginning of the financial year. Now, let's enable and process prior payroll in Zoho Payroll. Log in to your Zoho Payroll account and navigate to Getting Started. Scroll down to where it says Configure Prior Payroll and click on Configure Prior Payroll. On the next page, click Enable Prior Payroll to see the data and the period associated with the specific prior payroll you need to upload to ensure accurate tax calculations. Click Set up Prior Payroll and find the option to add employees. Here, add both current and terminated employees. You also have the option to bulk import employees. To do this, click either one of the sample files, enter the data and upload the file to the system. All your employee data will be uploaded in one go. Next, the employee pay information has to be uploaded. Here, select the month or months for which you would like to upload the pay information, download either one of the sample files provided and enter the data. Please note that if you need to choose multiple months in this step, it must be done in ascending order. You won't be able to select the months out of order. In the Excel file, Enter the earnings, deductions and reimbursements. Everything in this section is mandatory in order to generate accurate reports. While uploading the reimbursement of an employee, there are three columns that need to be updated, namely eligible, approved and the name of the reimbursement, including the tax details and statutory details like employee provident fund, and employee state insurance, which include both employees and employers' contribution and the contribution wages. Once the prior payroll file is imported successfully, a claim will be created automatically in the system in the approvals module in the approved form. Once the employee's information and pay information has been uploaded to the system, you can see the entire summary of the prior payroll uploaded where the total payroll cost, active number of employees and terminated employees are projected. Below that, you can view the overall summary and employee-wise summary for the uploaded prior payroll. After verifying the data completely, click Submit to finalize the prior payroll for your organization. If you want to make changes to the uploaded data entered in prior payroll, click the Getting Started option and click on Configure Prior Payroll. Then click Edit Prior Payroll to select a file from the list displayed in descending order. Make the necessary changes and save them. Note that Prior payroll cannot be edited after you process a payroll in the system. Here, click Disable Prior Payroll to disable the prior payroll in your system. The data uploaded in the prior payroll will be reflected in all the reports available in the Reports module for reference. We hope this video on prior payroll for your organization was informative. If you need any clarifications, feel free to contact us at support at the rate zohopayroll.com. If you found this video helpful, do click the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications about our upcoming videos. Thank you.